Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Beth. I go by the username Be More Creative both here on FlossTube and on Instagram. So I'm back with this week's FlossTube. I am in a different setting. I'm currently in a hotel so I do apologise for the noises around. Um, my room is based right next to the main road so even though the noises don't sound too loud when I'm in the room I'm pretty sure that my phone camera is going to be picking up a lot of the noise because the only place I can sit and record is by the window, so <laughs> there's a bit of my phone for now. Um, so I do apologise for that. I'm hoping that it's not going to be too bad, but I need to get this video up and I know I am already late in doing so. So things are quite different at the moment. My students finished on Thursday, so they left this Thursday. I'm currently filming on Sat Sunday the 2nd of July so they left on Thursday um, very very full on week getting them ready to go early morning departures but I'm glad that they all made it back home safe and sound for the summer and they will be coming back in September so I have got a week without any students at all which is lovely it is going to be very busy we've got a lot to get ready but it means I go Monday to Friday, 8.30 to 5, which means I have evenings. Um, I have evening stitch, I have the weekend. It is really, really nice. So getting used to a change of timetable and then my timetable changes all again for two weeks for my summer school that we have going. But enough about that, let's just jump straight in. So last time seemed to be the floss tube finishes. I finished an awful lot of projects this time it is definitely the floss tube of new starts. Um, I was trying to work out what I'm going to bring with me over the holidays and I really went into Halloween and autumn mode um, when I was packing. So I packed away all of my cross stitch stuff, the rest of it is all in storage and I only left myself a couple of Christmas pieces and Halloween and autumn because I don't have any finishes really for Halloween and autumn. So. That's what I was meant to be stitching, it's what I have been stitching but it has been a bit of a struggle because I'm really not feeling Halloween and autumn pieces. So I've got a couple of really interesting sows, I have seemed to have st signed up to a lot of them so we're just going to jump straight in and the first thing that isn't a new start, my only piece that isn't a new start is my Lady Claws. Uh, this is by It's So Emma from the Fat Quarter Shop, so I showed this a while ago, there's not too much difference. But what I've done with this piece and with the partner Santa baby piece is I've outlined the entire thing. So now all I did this week was the fill in here. So when I started early mornings at work, I would just sit there and fill in a little bit while waiting for students to leave or people to come and pick up things. So this piece is just going to be a pick it up as I need to piece. It will probably be a really good travel piece because there is no counting whatsoever. It is just now block fill in of colours. So I've got all the pink, the red to do here. I've got the face and then the white hair. So it's really, really nice to have something like this in your um, stitching rotation where if you're too tired and you just don't want to count or you're in a situation where you can't count, having something where it's just fill in is just the best thing. And this piece um, will definitely be coming with me along with the Santa Baby because I think this is what I'll probably be stitching on the plane because it is just so easy to get done. Um, I do want to, before I leave, which is in three weeks time, I do want to do a couple more outline pieces so I have some ready for the summer as well. The next piece I have is actually a new purchase and it is Byron Blackbird by the Artsy Housewife. And I saw this and the minute I saw it, I was like, I want to stitch this one. I think this is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I love the fact that I can stitch the outline and then I could do the fill in part of the bird. So I'm stitching this and I have no idea what fabric this is. I wanna say it's an 18 count, but it could be a 16 count. I'm using the cord for colors. I haven't got very far on this, um, but this is just a piece of fabric that I found in my stash. It's just a um, little fat eight. So it's a small piece of fabric and this is how far I've got done on it. So just a really small, nice piece that I will be picking up and this one 
Um, as I said, I'm using the cord for colours for this one. The next one is, I stumbled across this. Um, it's by Lola Crow and it is the Greenhouse of Oddities Cell. Um, so this one is, she did the Haunted Library Cell that I saw last year. But this one I saw online and I fell in love with it. I absolutely love the design of this one. Um, it actually in sale started back in April, I think, was when she released like the outline frame. And then every Friday she's releasing a second part. Now, I'm unsure. Um, there is another part out. I'm quite far behind on this one, but I'm just going to be picking up and stitching um, away on this one. So I'm using Cool for Colours on Fibre on Whim 18 Count Milk and Honey. And that is how far I've got with that one. So very, very small start. I started this one um, last week. I've done one evening stitching on this so far. So this will be one that is definitely coming with me because I would love to get that one caught up and then to the point where I can just stitch on it on a weekly basis. The last piece I have to show you is Twas um, All Hallows Eve by the Tiny Modernist. And with this one, what it is, is it's another sow. Um, this is a Tiny Modernist Halloween sow. And she released the border. So I haven't finished the border. I've done the outline. I stitched this yesterday. And I'm stitching on Chromatic Alchemy 18 count in Yuan Yang. And with the cord for DMC colours. So I've still got the outline to finish. There's going to be fines on both sides. And then there's like stars, moons and bats on the top, bottom. And it says Twas All Halloween, I think, or something like that. And then each month, so July, August, September, October, there is going to be a little uh, monthly release for this one. So I really do like this one. It's really quite simple to stitch. As I said, so far, I've done this in one day, one afternoon. I sat there and did this yesterday afternoon and I got the border outlined. So this one's going to be fun. I'll be carrying on this one this afternoon. Um, to try and finish the border off at least um, but yeah so I know this floss tube is incredibly quick I am a little bit of, well I am not a little bit I'm very very tired it's been quite a full on past week but I'm now looking forward to getting some stitching done and having the time to just relax and enjoy creating again so the only other thing I have stitched um, I can't show you yet, I have stitched and fully finished my freebie on the 17th for July. So if you haven't seen that series already, that is a series where every month on the 17th I will be releasing a free pattern um, for you guys on my YouTube channel. So that is everything from me. Hopefully in the next two weeks I will get um, further in my stitching. I do want to finish the British Isles Adventure. The last part came out for that, so I do want to completely finish, fully finish that piece. I also want to um, try and catch up on my All Hallows Eve by Tiny Modernist, at least fill in the frame and get the first piece done. And then apart from that, I'm not really planning anything in particular. I do know over the next three weeks, I want to get another two pieces outlined. Um, because I know this summer there's going to be a lot of times where it's sitting around with family of an evening and I don't want to be sitting there counting, I want to be chatting, but I can get some stitching done at the same time. So I want to make sure I outline those and then just whittle down what it is that I actually want to take with me this, this time. Um, I did get a message to say my Potoki stand that I ordered back in April should be ready in the next couple of weeks, so I'm super excited about that. Um, I've wanted one of those stands for so long so having the opportunity to finally be able to get one um, I'm just waiting for that invoice to come in and then hopefully I'll be having that probably this month hopefully in July I will get that so yeah that that's everything I'm not really making too many plans um, at the moment I'm just going to be enjoying having a little bit of free time to myself so we will see what happens over the next two weeks but 
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all of your continued support. It means the world to me. I am going to go and find a movie to watch and enjoy some stitching time. So I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.